Hi, this is Pam. The topic for this video today is inflammation, the cause of multiple sclerosis symptoms. If we haven't met, my name is Pam Bartha and I'm the author of Become a Wellness Champion and the founder of Live Disease Free. And I'm really excited to talk about this topic because if you know the starting point of what your body is dealing with when you are sick, then you know what approach you need to do to recover. So today we're going to talk about inflammation and I'm going to demystify that for you. So when we're diagnosed with chronic disease, we're told by the experts that they don't know what causes disease and there is no cure. I was diagnosed with MS over 30 years ago and it's really sad that today, like over 30 years, nothing's really changed. They still don't know what causes MS and there is no cure. So if we're not happy with our standard of care approach, then we might look into the world of integrative health. And when we go in that direction, we find out very quickly that become, we become really confused and frustrated because there's so many diets, there's so many different supplements, there's so many different approaches and opinions to health. How do we know what is the best approach for us if we want to improve our quality of life or even recover from chronic disease? In order to do so, we have to understand our starting point. We have to understand what's going on in our body because then we will truly understand what approach we need to take. So clarity completely destroys confusion. And the reality is that wellness champions are recovering from chronic disease. And I have been able to live MS-free for over 30 years now, and multiple sclerosis is an incurable disease according to our standard of care. So let's talk about inflammation. Inflammation is understood, it's understood in the scientific community and in the medical community that all diseases are inflammatory conditions, all of them. So remember that MS is an inflammatory condition, but so is Crohn's disease, so is cancer, so is diabetes, so is arthritis, all diseases are inflammatory conditions. But what is inflammation? So to better understand inflammation, what I'd like to do is use an analogy. And sometimes a picture in our mind is worth a thousand words. So the analogy that I want to use is comparing war to inflammation. In war, our soldiers are battling an enemy. With inflammation, our immune cells are battling disease-causing microbes, which we call parasites, or the toxins that they produce. So a parasite is any microbe that lives inside of us and causes us harm. This could be worms, could also include protists, which are single-cell parasites, and also different types of fungus, fungi, uh, different molds, yeast, for example, and also different disease-causing bacteria. In our human military, there are different divisions. There's different types of soldiers that have different duties. They are well armed and they serve to defend us against invasions from enemies that would cause us harm. With our immune system, it is also made up of a variety of different types of immune cells and they have very specific duties and they will treat the enemy in different ways. Some of them are involved in communication and some just strictly in treatment. And they also treat not just the parasites, but the toxins that the parasites produce. In war, in human war, we have destruction and we have death, loss of life, damage to roads, buildings, etc. With inflammation, we have damage to our tissues and our organs, and we can sometimes even have cell death. So the scientific and medical community, they know that inflammation occurs when our tissues become injured from either an accident, so maybe we've had fallen off a bike or we fell, tripped and fell, and we cut our knee, we have redness, swelling, and pain, bleeding, so that would be trauma. The other cause of inflammation or the other, time, the other time that it would occur is when we are dealing with infections and the toxins they produce. So when our immune cells are defending us against the enemy, which would be different types of disease-causing parasites and also the poisons that they produce. The symptoms of inflammation, as I mentioned, are 
pain, redness, swelling, and heat. When our soldiers, our human soldiers, when they defeat the enemy, war stops. Similarly, when parasitic infections are treated effectively or successfully by our immune cells, inflammation stops. So the, we no longer have an inflammatory condition or disease. So this makes common, this is common sense and it's true in science, but for some reason, when we get sick, we're told we have a disease, it is an inflammatory condition, and they don't know what's causing the disease. When we know by definition, inflammation is the war zone where our immune cells are fighting some type of enemy. So if we know that infections and the toxins they produce cause this war, and which is the inflammation, why is it that our experts and researchers are not looking for the specific parasites that are causing our immune system to fight, that are causing our horrible symptoms and the disease that we're dealing with? So this led me to really look at the term autoimmunity because this is really where we went off track. In the later part of the 19th century, scientists believed that our immune system would not attack our tissues. So that was up until the latter part of the 19th century. But then at the turn of the 20th century, a Dr. Ehrlich proposed a theory, which is a belief, it's not a fact, about the possibility of autoimmune tissue attacks. So very important to know that a theory is not a fact, it is a belief. So it was not proven, but it was just believed that our tissue, that our immune cells could attack our tissues. Then in the 1950s, the theory of autoimmunity really started to gain a lot of popularity. And it was believed that most diseases are caused by the immune system attacking body tissues for some unknown reason. Today, we have more than 80 different types of autoimmune diseases, and how are they treated? They're treated with various immune suppressive drugs that are called maintenance drugs. You're supposed to take them for life or as long as your body can handle the adverse effects. This has resulted in a multi-trillion dollar in sickness industry. So this would include the whole industry for cancer, for multiple sclerosis, for arthritis, for inflammatory bowel disease, for diabetes, for heart disease, it goes on and on. So remember that a theory is not a fact, it is a belief. If autoimmunity truly occurs in our body, then it would be impossible to get well. Our immune cells would recognize our tissue as the enemy, producing antibodies against it. And it wouldn't matter what kind of diet we followed. It wouldn't matter what supplements we took. It wouldn't matter if we treated parasites. Our immune cells would still attack our own tissue. And this is not the case. For the wellness champions and myself, as we are treating these parasites, the inflammation stops, the war stops, and people have a lot of recovery, a lot more than they thought possible. Now I'd like to discuss the difference between autoimmunity and immune dysfunction. For many years, scientists have known that there are at least 17 different ways that these parasites can cause inflammation and immune dysfunction in our body. So both inflammation and immune dysfunction can stop as we treat the parasites effectively. The way to recover from chronic diseases like MS but others is to treat the cause of the inflammation and immune dysfunction, treating the parasites. And as they are treated effectively using a holistic approach, and we do that with the Live Disease Free Plan, we find that the inflammation stops, the immune dysfunction stops, we go back to a time in our life where we felt healthy. I really hope that what I've shared in this video has given you a lot of hope. There are real solutions for you right now. If you are looking for ways to improve your health, to create health instead of living with sickness, 
make sure to check out our website, livediseasefree.com. You'll also find a lot of my videos there. You can also find them on YouTube and Facebook, Live Disease Free. On YouTube and on our website, we have playlists. So you can learn all about the different infections that are causing disease. You can learn about the diet and many other health-related topics, especially the successes of the wellness champions. They are my heroes. If you found this video helpful and you love learning about how to create health, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Help us get the word out and so that you're notified when I release the next training. And if you would like to learn more about the Live Disease Free Plan, all the steps that I have taken and the wellness champions have taken to recover from chronic disease, chronic inflammatory diseases, make sure to watch my masterclass training. Take care and bye-bye for now.